Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It's going to be a new Will I Buy It video. I post this series every single Wednesday where I'm talking over all of the new makeup releases. I give my thoughts on them, let you know what has me interested, what maybe I am going to pass over. I will link my playlist down below. I will also link the community playlist. I started this a while back so any creator who made this style of new releases video can add theirs to the playlist if you want to see what a bunch of people are talking about that week, uh, what their thoughts are on all of these new releases because you know we always seem to have different opinions which is a lot of fun to see what other people are thinking but we do have a lot to chat about this week so let me go ahead and get started all right i'm gonna kick it off this week with ColourPop because they came out with a new collection that i kind of instantly did a double take on and i've been going to the ColourPop website and trying to decide what it is that i want to get from this collection so i really want to hear your thoughts uh, i will link the trend mood one instagram and down below i read off of her account quite a bit but i said something um yesterday on my instagram stories because i'm actually filming this on tuesday typically i post for the will i buy it on monday it's just kind of my schedule i can edit on tuesday and have this up wednesday morning uh but yesterday was monday was just kind of like an admin day and getting caught up and all of that so i'm filming on tuesday but when i was chatting on my ig stories i did the little questions feature where you can write in and I was saying, you know, what new releases are you most excited for this week? And quite a few people wrote in and said that you were really interested in this uh, new collection from ColourPop. So they've come out with two new eyeshadow palettes, also two new highlighters, and then some lip sets. So the two new Super Shock highlighters are what I'm most interested in actually. We have Your Catch and also Nude Mood. Then there's two new eyeshadow palettes with Blush Crush and New Mood. Nude Mood. Nude mood okay let's get nude <laughs> let's not this is a youtube video and also just a tint lip cram bundles so these are available now like i said i was on the ColourPop website i was trying to decide what it is that i wanted to get from the collection i have to say the highlighters interest me the most they say that these are super shock highlighters but the packaging on them is so different than the kind of like a regular super shock highlights that we've seen in the past like flexitarian and i know lunch money is another really popular one i personally love my flexitarian highlight and i do really like that formula they also have kind of their um just like regular pressed highlighters i really like horse and carriage from the cinderella collection that came out earlier in the year and those are not in the more like the pot forms just like the super shock shadows so when i saw these highlighters they just kind of immediately captured my attention i don't know i'm kind of thinking about grabbing one i've i keep going on the ColourPop website and i keep going on i'm like uh, uh, should i get a highlighter like i have so many highlighters but i mean these really just kind of called to me i've had a few people write in and say that they've heard that the highlighters do have a lot of glitter in them so I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if you've picked them up or if you've tried them out yet. The eyeshadow palettes both look really beautiful. I am a neutral lover. I thought both of these looked gorgeous when I first saw them and I did the double take with them. But because I love my neutrals so much, I feel like I can, like, I feel like I probably have this collection or this palette, you know, over and over in my collection. I did a video recently um kind of creating it was called creating our all-star palette it was a collaboration with another youtuber mandy lee i will link that video down below but i kind of create my perfect neutral palette and i have two color pop palettes in there because i really do like their eyeshadow formula the press eyeshadow formula i think is really good and i think they have some great shades across all of their different palettes but that being said i feel like i probably have it um i will say that blush crush is the one that really kind of kept like tapping me on the shoulder like are you sure you want to look again i'm still here i've been trying to figure out like e -e 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 -e, but let me know what you think the just a tint lip crayons i'm not a huge fan of those myself uh, i'm just not really a fan of like the crayon lipstick formula in general it's just not really a favorite of mine i i think that they're they're nice out of all of the color pop lip products um I, I don't think that they're a bad item. I still like their lip liners are number one. I have the little one lip liner on today. I can't remember which one exactly. I'll have to check. I, I do always link all my makeup in the description box too, so I'll link it down below. And then I have a Persona Cosmetics gloss over it. But I don't mind them, but they're nothing like I have some in my collection. I don't feel like I need to grab more. But that is what is most intriguing me from the new ColourPop collection. Do let me know your thoughts. And then uh, moving over to skincare actually, but I feel like I got so many tags on this one. I've had a lot of you DM me um, and I posted a skincare video 
yesterday so I posted it on Tuesday and already I'm seeing a lot of comments of people saying have I seen that Pixie Beauty is now available at Ulta Beauty that's really exciting to me I really I, th I think it's a lot of fun to see when new brands are coming into retailers such as Sephora and Ulta and I have been wondering when Pixie was going to go. I figured they would go into Ulta Beauty, but I was wondering when is Pixie going to come into Ulta Beauty? You can get Pixie on their website. You can also get Pixie at Target, which is great. I've picked up a lot of the items that I've bought from Pixie from Target myself, but I I feel like I did a video. I mean, I know I did a video. I'm trying to think of when it was. I did a video titled like brands I want to see in Sephora and Ulta or something like that. And I'm pretty sure even back then I put Pixie Beauty and like I would love to see this brand at Ulta. I've been using Pixie Beauty and buying and re and repurchasing items from Pixie for quite some time. So I think it's really exciting to see them in Ulta Beauty. So it says including mists, oils, tonics, glosses, liquid eyeshadows, eyeshadows, highlighters, cleansers. So that's really exciting. It looks like they have a range of their makeup and also their skincare. I personally like Pixi more for their skincare. I gravitate towards that a lot more than I do their makeup actually. But this is really cool to see like if you would need, um, you know, to stock up on a product, you can now get it at Ulta and use your points and all of that. So that is very cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Well, one thing that I saw was new that I don't think I've talked about yet in a Will I Buy It video, um, but it is available at Sephora now. Hourglass has come out with a new concealer. This is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. This is $34. It says a full coverage, weightless, waterproof concealer. It's uh, supposed to blur and brighten for up to 16 hours of skin perfection. So I am really curious about this, and I had it flagged on my loves list, but I am someone who, like, I love deals, I love coupons, I love discount codes. I like, I have to have like some sort of incentive, especially when purchasing from, say, Sephora, because I have a lot of makeup. I have a lot of makeup for what I do. I get sent a lot of makeup in PR. I have a lot of makeup. So when it comes to buying more makeup that I'm like, it's kind of to the point where it's like, do I really need it? Or am I kind of battling this need want type of thing? So in order to purchase from Sephora, I want to have a coupon, a discount, a sale, something. Um, and I have been waiting because I've had this feeling. I was like, I, th I feel like 8% cash back is going to be coming up at Ebates. If you don't use Ebates, which is actually now Rakuten, um, they got bought out by Rakuten, you can get cash back for shopping online. I know a lot of people do sponsorships with Rakuten and this is not sponsored, but I have been waiting for it because I've had it happen so many times where I finally break down and I place a Sephora order. And then like the next day or two days later, it's double cash back. And double cash back really can help. Like instead of getting two or three dollars back you can be getting eight and ten dollars back and I look at that as having money off of my purchase that I made so I've been waiting and waiting and I saw today that I'm filming is Tuesday and I saw that it went up to eight percent so I have my Sephora cart open in the other room and I'm planning to make a purchase and one of the things I've had flagged and I've been most excited about is this hourglass concealer I really like trying complexion products, I like trying foundations, I like trying concealers, and I really do like quite a few products from Hourglass. Not everything do I absolutely love, but I've been really curious to try out this concealer, and I'm super bummed that both of the shades that I feel like I could wear are sold out. And on, so it comes in 20, 22, 23 shades. There's only three shades that are sold out and two of those are the two that I feel like I could use. And if I went lighter, I think it would be too light. And if I did darker, I think it would be too dark. And the darkest one has like golden undertones or something, which I don't think would be great on me. Concealers can sometimes be a little bit more forgiving shade wise than foundations. But if you, sw like, if you swing too far in one direction, it's just not going to look good. So I am super, super disappointed because I am planning to have a Sephora haul. It'll just, just so you know, it's probably going to be a pretty small one. Um, but I'm super bummed because I really wanted to grab this concealer, but I'll just have to wait for my next shade to come in. I would love to know, have you guys purchased this a concealer? Uh, I will be keeping an eye and seeing when my either one of those shades come, <laughs> comes back so I can purchase it. Okay, I touched on this very briefly last week towards the end of the video because we didn't have a whole, like, a whole lot to go off of yet but that was about the makeup geek rebrand so we knew the rebrand was coming and we knew it was going to be available on the 17th and we've got we had like a few like sneak peeks and hints and like obviously we knew eyeshadows were coming in all of that but um we have now seen the full spectrum of everything that is coming out and there is a lot that makeup geek uh relaunched so like i said last week i was really excited to see the rebrand 
I have bought so many eyeshadows from Makeup Geek, especially when they were just, you know, you, it felt like you couldn't log on to YouTube without seeing someone else posting, uh, like, my favorite Makeup Geek shadows or, like, curating my Makeup Geek palette with all of these different single shadows, and I had bought so many myself, too, so... Uh, there's a lot going on here. So we have the Matrix System Neutral Shadow Palette, which is $124.99 and includes 28 matte eyeshadows. We also have the Matrix System Color Palette with 7 foiled eyeshadows and 21 matte eyeshadows. Um, also, I believe that one's also $125. And then the Matrix Mega Set, which is $219.99. You get both of those two palettes that I just mentioned. Then there is also a bunch of nine shadow palettes. These are going to be $32.99 each. We have warm tones, cool tones, shades of romance, shades of fantasy, palette for blue eyes, palette for green eyes, palette for brown and hazel eyes. Like, very cool. Then we also have four eyeshadow mini palettes. These are $14.99. Um, the individual shadows are going to be $5.49 each. The Travel Magnetic palettes are $9.99. There's a mini magnetic palette with a clear cover for $4.99 and they also have some false lashes running from $7.99 to $10.99. That's a lot. That's a lot happening right there. So I think it's really cool to see them come back and also to see them come back in such a big way that it's not just a palette or two launching. We have um, kind of these curated palettes. We have the smaller palettes. We have the mini palettes. You can still get the single eyeshadows. Maybe there's just one or two or three shadows and that would make more sense than for you to purchase, you know, something that's already been put together. I think that's really cool. For the really big palettes, I know a lot of people are really loving these, uh, but it is $125 and and I, I get it, and I get that you're getting a lot of shades. That's that's 28 shades that you're getting. Um, I, you know, I, I I get that Makeup Geek is. I believe they're still considered an indie brand. Um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. And made in the U.S. and all of that. So I understand the price tag, but um, I still that just is. I just. Ugh. I have a hard time spending that on makeup. I've said that before talking about like Natasha Denona and uh, Pat McGrath palettes. Like I just can't do it. And also I just personal makeup preferences wise, I just like smaller palettes. So it really wouldn't make sense for me to buy a 28 pan palette, even though I think that they're gorgeous. Definitely the neutral one. I was like, Ooh, that's beautiful. Like the more colorful one. I don't think I would get enough use out of it, but the neutral one, I was like, how am I going to say no to this? And then when I saw the price, I was like, okay, it probably wouldn't have been the smartest decision for me to purchase that anyways, because I feel like every week I'm talking about my love for smaller palettes, and then I'm going to go out and buy one with 28 pans, like, get it together, girl. But still really beautiful. Um, you know, definitely if you're a makeup artist or things like that, I feel like this would be you know, just something so awesome to have. But I'm definitely looking at some of these smaller palettes. I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking maybe one of the nine eyeshadow palettes, which is still $33, you know, that is a little bit more pricey. I don't know if the four pans, I don't know, um, four might be a little bit too, like not enough eyeshadow for me. I'm, I'm typically somewhere between like five and 10 shades or maybe even like five and 12, six and 12, somewhere in there. That's kind of like my perfect one when I was creating that all-star palette. Like I mentioned, I did 10 shades out of there. So I'm leaning towards doing one of these nine pans. I tend to like nine pan palettes quite a bit, so that is what I, that's what I'm leaning towards at the moment. Um, I know that there's a bunch of videos going on right now because Makeup Geek sent out a bunch of PR. I know they have a lot of affiliates, so if you are purchasing from Makeup Geek, I would recommend um, seeing if maybe one of your favorite influencers does have a code or anything like that because I know that they do get affiliate commission from that, which is fantastic. Uh, so I, I, again, I know there's a ton of videos going out. I know that girl Shay has one swatching like all of these different shadows and I'm definitely gearing towards something. I think I just need to pick one of the nine pan palettes. I think that'll be good for me. I probably like, I, I don't think I would do like a dedicated video just to it just because there's so many, like my, my feet is flooded right now with these makeup geek videos so I'm not in like a trying to run because I really want this and I want to get it up for YouTube and that sort of thing but I'm leaning towards one of the nine pan palettes. Speaking of eyeshadow palettes this is a collection that I wouldn't think that I would be interested in but I kind of am. Um, when I started to see the promo photos that Kylie Cosmetics was coming out with a collaboration or with the Stormy collection which Stormy is Kylie Jenner's daughter I was like I, f I 
had this inkling, this like thought. I was like, hmm, I bet something in this collection is going to call to me. I didn't know what it was going to be. I didn't know if maybe it was just, you know, I have a strong bond with my mom. So I was like, I don't know if it's just like the mother daughter thing. And then the like video came out of her story. And you know me, I got a little tear in my eye because I just thought it was like super cute because that's how I am. And then the actual products released, and I have to say that I feel like the eyeshadow palette looks really beautiful. This is a nine pan palette, and the purple, the, the purples, <laughs> can I speak of the purples in there? I do think are really quite beautiful. Um, I don't really purchase a lot from Kylie Cosmetics. I did when the brand was first coming out. I haven't really a lot since then, but I do think that this palette looks really pretty. It's the nine shades, which, you know, kind of falls into the spectrum of what I like. Purple, I think, is just so beautiful on green eyes. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about this one. Everything is going to be available February 1st, which, if I'm remembering correctly, I believe that is Stormy's birthday. So, I don't know. Kind of interested in that one. There's also going to be blushes. Um, there's the lip kits with the matte liquid lipsticks and also lip liners. There's also a mini gloss collection. I thought it was cute. Like I love minis and everything, but truly if there's anything that I'm most interested in, it that eyeshadow palette just kind of immediately made me do that double take and I'm sure this collection is going to be like so, so popular, but let me know. I know whenever I talk about the Kardashians or the Jenners or anything like that. There's always a lot of like really mixed feedback, but I'm just based on that palette. I thought it was really beautiful. Well, speaking of, let's just move over to KKW Beauty because Kim Kardashian is also putting out a new collection. This is the Celestial Sky Collection. It includes lip crayons for $18 each. This is going to be a new formula with a shiny lacquer finish. Um, there's also going to be the Classic Mattes Blush Palettes. For 38 and then the classic shimmers blush palette for 38 then we have a few different eyeshadow palettes the sepia sunset eyeshadow palette bronze heaven palette night sky eyeshadow palette these are going to be 25 dollars you can also do different bundles and such as well this is going to be available january 24th which i think is friday perhaps okay so that's going to be coming soon Nothing in this one really calls to me. The, the lip products, again, like the lip crayons, that doesn't really get to me. The the blush palettes, those are pretty, but I, I'm trying not to buy a lot of face palettes. And the eyeshadow palettes, these ones are... Sometimes with KKW Beauty, there it just doesn't seem like intriguing enough to, to call my attention. I think that it's very... A lot of times it's very Kim, and it's a lot of her makeup looks, and like a lot of the... You can tell like her makeup style and everything so i think it makes sense and branding wise everything i feel like has been really on brand with kkw beauty and like their aesthetic and everything but sometimes it just doesn't necessarily call to me which is okay and honestly i'm a very neutral person and like nudes and all of that so i'm kind of surprised that more hasn't called to me but i kind of think the packaging is just maybe a little bit on the boring side i almost wonder if the packaging was a little bit amped up if that would you know if that would call to me because that is part of the marketing and everything. I've I've wondered that. I've spoke about it before too. And there's a couple products that I'm interested in trying from KKW Beauty. I mentioned the brand in my brands I want to try in 2020 in my top five bottom five format. And I put KKW Beauty on the top five. A lot of you recommend it. Her lip glosses actually, and also lip liners, which I love both of those things. So that's fantastic. Uh, and then also the brightening powder was another one that got recommended quite a bit. So I think those are what I'm looking to try from the brand if I'm going to pick up something from them. And yeah, this collection just didn't really call to me very much. Uh, MAC Cosmetics is coming out with a new collection as well. And I've got quite a few tags on these highlighters. I've had some uh, rough instances with MAC highlights in the past, but this collection is called MAC Loud and Clear. And everything has the clear packaging. For some reason, I actually kind of like it and for me it's kind of giving me like old school vibes and I don't know if I want to say necessarily like old school MAC vibes because I'm not like an old school MAC girl I even when I got on YouTube and everybody talked about MAC I was like what I've never even been in a MAC store like but I don't know something about it it's just kind of it feels like a throwback if that makes sense but we have extra dimension skin finishes we have lip glasses or lip glosses uh, and then also lipsticks it says coming January February <sighs> I feel like the highlighters are kind of calling to me. Um, I think that they look very pretty. I like the different shades of them. 
maybe I would give this a try. Maybe, maybe, maybe I would. Oh, there's also eyeshadows if I didn't say that too. I don't know. I think out of all of them, the highlights are what called to me the most. Hopefully they would perform better than like that Fleur Real that I mentioned in my worst makeup of 2019. But yeah, I think that's very pretty. I do still have some MAC lip glasses and some lipsticks as well. I don't feel like I need to repurchase anything there, but I don't know. The highlighters out of that one is what's calling my attention the most, but I'll probably wait to see some reviews so I don't get burned on that highlight again. Okay? Okay. Um, Pat McGrath one of my girlfriends. She is coming out with new glosses. These are the Opulist Luxurious Lip Glosses. So it says, coats the lips in multi-dimensional sparkle, seamlessly gliding onto lips in eight shades. This is going to be available at January 31st. Okay. Um, I don't see a price on this one though. And you know, Pat McGrath is, <laughs> she's, she's, she's pretty pricey. They look absolutely beautiful. Um, seeing them on the lips, all of that I mean they do they they look beautiful and incredible and luxurious I am actually planning though to purchase a lip liner from Pat McGrath Kathleen Lines has talked me into it like she does so many different purchases but she she really raves about the Pat McGrath lip liners so I've had one flagged on my Sephora account and again it's expensive I think it's like $34 I want to say for the lip liner so I'm going to start with the lip liner and see what I think because I have tried Pat McGrath lipsticks and they haven't been my absolute favorite formula it's not my least favorite formula but it's not a favorite it's not one that I keep like keep on keep on keep on reaching for so I want to try out the lip liner and see what I think and then maybe we can you know keep going from there I did also want to say thank you to Pat she you know, she responded to one of my photos on Twitter where I was wearing the uh, Sublime Foundation and I, you know, I tagged her Twitter account and she wrote back and said that she loved it and, you know, we're friends and she gives me compliments all the time, you know. Something about her putting it on Twitter, I was just like, <laughs> thanks Pat. I had to share it on my Instagram stories. I was, uh, I was, I was very excited that she even like saw my photo of me wearing her foundation, okay? It was kind of like... It was an exciting moment for me, okay? But that's what I'm planning to get from Pat McGrath. Then we'll, maybe we'll move over to the lip glosses. What do you guys think about the lip glosses? Do you enjoy them? Let me know, because again, I'm sure that they're going to be pricey, but we're going to try out that lip liner first. <laughs> All right, so BH Cosmetics is coming back with some more of their travel palettes. So this is in their travel series. So there's three new palettes that are $16 each. We have Trendy in Tokyo with 16 colorful shadows, Illuminating in Ireland, um, and then we have, what's the other one? Smitten in Switzerland. I just listened to a podcast the other day. Oh, what podcast was it? Um, Bad With Money. And Gabby had a guest on who lived in Switzerland and she was talking about just kind of like the culture over there and the whole podcast kind of revolves around money. And this season, Gabby's really focusing on like other countries and how their systems work and how their taxes work and how their everything works. It was so interesting to hear about Switzerland. I love travel. I was a travel major in college. And one of the reasons why I love travel and why I picked that major is because I like to learn about other countries and other people. So that's a whole other thing. But sorry, I just thought I'd mention that because when I saw Switzerland, I was like, I've been talking to so many people about Switzerland these days. So it was kind of funny. Um, BH Cosmetics doesn't have my favorite formulas. So I'm going to skip over these. I really just wanted to tell you that they're here. We have the more colorful palette, a little bit more of a neutral palette, and then the face palette. Also, some more new eyeshadow palettes from Violet Boss. These are available now at Sephora. We have the Matte Vibes eyeshadow palette for $30. Uh, also the Fun Size Mini eyeshadow palette in Sweet Violet for $18. That one's a 10 pan palette. Um, I feel like I haven't really been hearing about Violet Voss a whole lot lately, unless maybe I'm just missing something. They're a brand that is available at Sephora. I have tried their eyeshadows. I really like the Holy Grail palette. I haven't used it as much lately as my eyeshadow palette collection continues to grow and grow and grow. I really have enjoyed that one, but I, I tend, I don't know. I feel like when I see a new release from the brand, which is kind of few and far between, I don't immediately go running for it. Uh, I think the Flamingo palette was the last time I did. Um, neither one of these I feel like I really need. I think the purples do look really beautiful and very electric, and I, I was going to say eclectic, electric. And then the warm one looks nice, but I don't feel like I have to have it. But those are some new releases from Shop Violet Boss, or Violet Boss. Uh... This next one I was a little bit confused on. This is a collaboration with 
NYX, and then the Netflix show Sabrina. So this includes the Sabrina Spell Book Face Palette, which is $35. You get 30 eyeshadows and three face pressed powders. And then also Sabrina Lip Duos, which are $14 each and available January 21st. When I saw this, I was like, Sabrina? Like Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Because I loved Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I watched that show all the time with Melissa Joan Hart. I loved it. And then I saw um, in another post on Trend Mood, they had kind of like shown everything a little bit closer and had tagged Sabrina, Sabrina Spellman Updates, which is actually on the palette. And I know a lot of people, like I've seen a lot of comments of people saying that they didn't like that that was a thing, which I, I totally get it. And I was like, but what is this? I don't watch Netflix a ton, but I had to look it up to see what it was. And it says it's an adaptation from Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but this is kind of like a darker version of the show. The collaboration part doesn't really call to me because it's not what the show that I'm familiar with. And again, we have a really large palette in here. You have some of those face shades, but I just highly doubt that I would reach into this one. But have you guys watched the show? What do you think of it? Do you think I should watch it if I liked the original show? Honestly, I don't really have time to watch a lot of TV. Let's not talk about sports, okay? <laughs> Let's not talk about sports. <laughs> That's usually what I'm watching and I'm just... <sighs> Let's just not talk about it, okay? Another collaboration that's coming out, this is with Hard Candy and uh, Marilyn Monroe. So that's very interesting. Um, there's lip balms, there's uh, makeup sprays, there's serums, lip tints, powders, a brow pencil. I mean, this is like a full full collection. Um, I, I kind of just see like Marilyn Monroe's face on it and signature and you know kind of looks like a little bit like vintage glam maybe with some of the packaging. Hard Candy is a brand that I've never really gotten that much into. Again when I first came on to watching YouTube I would hear about Hard Candy quite a bit. I know I have purchased some items. I want to say it was an eye, was it an eyeliner? or highlighter i can't remember what it was from hard candy but i went searching in my walmarts for this because so many people were recommending it but um i don't know this one it doesn't really call to me i'm i i know marilyn monroe and and all of that but something about the collaboration i'm just i don't feel like i have to run out and grab it uh, Viseart is coming out with some new lip products. So this is their Moisture Boost Oil Lip Shine. Hydrating oil glosses in four universal shades. You can wear them alone. You can layer them. Uh, let's see. These are going to be $19 each and available January 21st. Also on at Beautylish. Okay. Uh, I think that's interesting. I've tried some of like lip oils in the past. And while I don't mind them. Like, I think that they're fine. I don't feel like they're a favorite lip formula of mine. So, I probably don't need to, to test these out. But, letting you know, we got some new products from Viseart. And then also, oh, ColourPop does have another collection coming out. This is um, being seen at Ulta. So, we have the Your Acuity Eyeshadow Palette for 18 There's a Super Shock Cheek Duo, a Lippy Trio, and then also their TLC BFF Mascara and Liner for $16. I think the first collection that I was talking about with ColourPop, that has my attention a little bit more right now. So I'd probably go ahead and purchase from there instead of this one at Ulta. Um, the palette is pretty and everything, but again, even like the Blush Crush palette calls to me a little bit more. Uh, there's some new releases coming out from the Balm. This is their Sparkling Liquid Eyeshadow, Buildable and Blendable Liquid Eyeshadows. These are supposed to be long wearing and they are $14 each. Again, it's not something that I feel like I have to like race to the store to grab this one. Um, you know, if they're a more affordable option for something like the Stila glitters, which I think are great. Pixie has really great glitters too that maybe are like $18. I think they're a little bit pricier. So if they're more of an affordable option and they work well and they don't crack and they're long wearing and all of that, it could be a, a nice option to have. But as it's something that I don't reach for, like I, I don't really go for a glitter look every single day or even liquid glitters every single day, probably don't need to run for those. And then the last thing that I found, this is from the brand Etude House. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. I've seen them in the past. I feel like they've maybe done like some candy collections in the past, but they have this in time for Valentine's Day, the Hershey's collection. So we have too many eyeshadow palettes. Uh, there is also some blushes and some eye brushes going to be available January 22nd online. This is super cute. 
with the eyeshadow palettes that truly look like Hershey bars, but I feel like if I had this, all I would want was a candy bar. Like, that's it. Like, I would pull this out to do my makeup and then be like, oh, wait, I need to run to the store and get a Hershey's bar. I don't feel like it would be the best thing for my body or for my skin because that's a lot of chocolate. Uh, so, you know, I probably shouldn't do this. Um, I just thought it was a cute collection. I thought I would end it with that one. I don't think I would actually grab it for myself, but would you? Or do you think it would just make you want to eat a bunch of chocolate? Because I feel like that's what it would do to me. But other than that, I feel like this was a bit of a shorter week. And I'm filming on Tuesday. Hold on, let me just double check. Do you see one more thing on the Trend Mood page? Hold on, let me move back over. This is a Nordstrom exclusive from NARS. This is the Cool Crush collection. We have the Cool Crush eyeshadow palette for $59. A Hot Fix Cheek palette palette for 49 loaded lip lacquers for 26 okay so these are available at Nordstrom uh, I you know the face palette trying not to really buy a lot of the face palettes right now the eyeshadow palette doesn't really intrigue me too much um, the lip lacquers I do like those from NARS um, I think that they're really pretty. I have a few shades. If it's what I'm thinking of, I have a few shades in my collection. I really do like them. Probably don't need more of these, uh, but I do think that those are nice. But uh, NARS comes out with a lot of collections, so unless something like really catches my attention, I feel like I can skip over them. But after that, whew, okay. After that, we are done with the new releases for the week. Let me know what you thought of everything that I chatted about. What has your attention? What are you planning to skip over? Like I said, I am hoping to get on making a Sephora haul today. Maybe a ColourPop one. Let me know what you're thinking about the uh, new collection with the blush crush and the nude mood. Um, if you would like to see anything here on my channel, please do let me know, of course. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this one, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.